Hey guys, welcome back to Paradise. Today we are hanging out down in the desert. And for those of you who have been following us for a while, you know that we cook all of our meals on a fire. And you might be thinking, well, where are you getting all your firewood in the desert? Well, to tell you the truth, there's a lot of firewood in the desert. A lot of people think of the desert just as like this deserted wasteland of just like nothing but sand and, and sand dunes and, and no really vegetation. But as you can see behind me, there's lots of vegetation. But you don't see any like gigantic trees. But these are all just kind of drought tolerant, used to uh, being grown in the desert. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll go for a little stroll and I'll show you uh, what we collect for wood. Alrighty, so let's just go for a little stroll here. Um, so most people just obviously just think of the desert as cactus. So you got the squato and everything like that, which you can actually burn. We'll probably come across the uh, skeleton of one here in a second. But uh, so we have bushes like this. This is a creosote bush, which that one's obviously still alive. But when they die, they make some good uh, some good kindling there. And then you have some grass, which is invasive, but comes from the cows. Um, but that's nice for starting a starting a fire if you're using like the flint method or anything like that it starts fires really quick especially with the uh, the creosote and then over here look at that there's plenty of wood um this is actually an old let's see this is uh this is a palo verde it's an old palo verde here so that is they make really nice firewood so there's a whole pretty much tree there that's a lot of a lot of wood there and it's pretty much going to be the same as that tree right there. So that's what it looks like when it's alive. It's really green and they don't have leaves or anything. But in the uh, in the summer, they'll have nice uh, yellow blossoms on them. So they look gorgeous. But they have nice little uh, like spines like this on it, which they don't. They're, they're stabby, but they're not bad. But when they uh, but when it dies, they are actually kind of a pain to burn because when you're just trying to make a small fire, trying to push this into the fire, it's really difficult because all these little barbs on the edge. So you literally have to like rip all the barbs off and then just have, you finally have a stick. But the uh, the nice, the solid stuff in the center is uh, really nice to burn. But let's see, what else we got here? Uh, we got, oh, here's a, here's a dead saguaro. Still standing a little bit, but might have some wood down beneath it. But yeah, there's a couple here. So that's pretty much what the inside of a saguaro looks like. It's really cool. They're really cool plants. And so they just have these ribs in them, and then it expands and contracts with the water. So when it gets really wet or moist out, the water sucks in and it actually makes the saguaro bloom out. And it's pretty much like an accordion. It goes in and out. So you can see it after the rain, how much bigger they get. But yeah, this is the inside. So it's really cool. So it's really nice wood. And there you go. There's some nice, nice wood there. So that's really good for fire starting too, not for like keeping warm or anything because it's going to burn real quick. But then you also have... Some nice some wood there, and then I'm not seeing any close here, but there's a tree down here called the ironwood, which this might be one, a dead one, but uh, they're called ironwoods because they really don't decay. Um, they take a really long time to decay, and so you get this, and it's just usually it's still standing because it's it doesn't doesn't go away. And there's lots of bugs that like to live in it, but it burns, it burns real nice. So yeah, that's kind of like our main firewood between the ironwood, the palo verde, and then you just kind of use the the grass and the creosote and the and the saguaro there for kind of like starting it and just getting it going. But this stuff is good for making meals and stuff, so it'll and it'll keep you warm if you need to. There's obviously not a ton out here in order to like keep you warm, uh, sustained for like a long time. We don't usually have fires to keep us warm. We usually pretty much only just have fires to make meals. So if you watch some of our other videos on how we make a fire, it's just really small. It's the size of our cast iron. So we don't waste any heat. We don't waste any wood. Therefore, we can keep coming back at kind of the same spots, same areas, and not like be running the area out of out of firewood. So uh, then, because if we actually had to have fires to keep warm at night, then we'd be using all this. Like you'd use that in, in a heartbeat and you, that would be gone. So you'd never be able to use it again. But we can pretty much sustain off these like little things like like the, the brush and stuff to, to get our fires going. So that's kind of the nice thing about 
just being able to uh, to start fires and use it to cook your food. So, but as you can see, the uh, the desert is not as bare as as you read or think. Um, there's definitely lots of plants out here, and everything dies sooner or later. And once it's died or once it's dead, then you can probably burn it. This some stuff burns faster than others, but the uh, yeah the ironwood and the and the palo verde work really well. So. There you have it guys, if you're gonna be down in the desert, you don't really have to worry about firewood unless you plan on sitting out all night long and trying to stay warm, then it might be a little sparse for that. There's not really like big logs and stuff like the Pacific Northwest that you could be burning. Pretty much that's gonna be like kind of the biggest stuff that you're gonna be finding. And we don't like to, we don't cut down anything. We just pick up what's dead already on the ground. So um, there you go guys. If you guys have any more questions about, you know, living on the road, desert life, anything like that, um, let us know in the comments below. We're doing Q&As, so we'll get back to them sooner or later. Otherwise, hope you guys found this handy, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.